Well, this is my puppy May. This is my buddy's dog Buster. We're also going to be handling him. And this is my cur, old cur dog, uh, Dixie. Ross owns her now. Everybody's wondering where she was. He's a hunter. He keeps her over here in Ohio. We'll be hunting southern Ohio tonight. We're going to get out here and harvest a few coons, ain't we, Ross? We're going to harvest them. Go the ahead. Blood's going to fly. Blood's <laughs> flying tonight. We're going to get May, Buster, Dixie, turn them all loose together. Action? Action. Okay. Let the dogs loose. Uh, I see it. I'm, I'm looking right into it. It's blurry. Probably because I got my light on. Uh, <clears throat> let the dogs loose. Uh, we're going to try to get at it to let that blood fly. I'd say we're about to drive up here a little closer and get to where we can hear them. Bust, uh, Buster's now 705 yards. Well, Buster Treed, he's 793 yards. May is six tenths of a mile. She was in there with him, and I don't know if there's two coon tracks going uh, two different ways or, or what's going on, but he's treed by himself. She might be in there treed with him by the time we get there. So we're trying to get a little bit closer. And we'll see you guys at a tree and hopefully harvest the coon. Well, we're uh, 568 yards from Buster now. Showing May half a mile. Well, 870 yards now. Can't really tell what she's doing. Pretty good hike in here. He's looking good. Haven't seen the meat. May is 380 yards that way. She ain't showing treat or nothing. But, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get back here and harvest the coon. That's a pretty big coon. Got to the tree, harvested the coon, had a shooter again on the ground. She was just a little too mean for us and the dogs. Yep. Got a hold of Buster, ripped her up, ripped a little bit on his ears. Uh, pretty heavy coon, big old boar. Shot him high, I don't know how many times. Seven or eight times. Mm -hmm. Too much for me. Dixie's uh, got the grit, she's real interested in it. Looking good. A little May. As you can tell, it's about 300 and some odd yards there. I can't really see for the light, but he figured she would have come up here, so we're going to have to get her rounded up. Here she comes. I called May in from. Come on. Good girl. I called her from down there where she was. I don't know what she was doing down there. Got her back now anyway. We already got Buster loose over to the right side here. We're gonna turn May up in front of us and kinda of walk back toward the truck. There's a little Dixie with her and uh, maybe she'll go up, get struck in and get treed. Well, May is 199 yards. She struck back in. Buster's 495. He's running the track too. Hopefully pretty soon it's gonna be harvest time. Got Buster in there. We think he's we think he's treed. Hopefully he stays. And uh, look like May was heading that way to him yeah. or to her. So I think about 500 yards. We're gonna get after it and do it Kentucky Cooner style. Yeah, man. Well, we made it down here to the tree. this coon. May just come here and backed him up. Big old tree, it's probably on the inside if you'd ask me. But I ain't even found it yet. So I don't know either. Where's it at? 
Well, we're going to get out of here. Trees broke right there. There's big holes all in it. Like I said, it's a, it's a great big tree. So We're going to get the dogs and get out of here. It ain't sitting on the outside anywhere. We've got about a 600-yard walk back to the truck. Well, we're about 600 yards, like I said, from the truck. We're going to head the dogs toward it, and hopefully we'll trade another coon on the way back there, and hopefully they don't head the wrong direction. Just got back up here to the truck. Ross put Dixie in the box. Let's see how far the dogs are away here. Half a mile. 0.62. Well, we're getting the truck turned around here. The dogs are eight tenths of a mile away. And we're off. Let's go find these dogs. Well, Maze treed 411 yards. Uh, Buster's six tenths of a mile now. We drove a little closer to him. She's right through there. We're gonna try to get a little bit closer and see what she's got treed there. We drove within 230 yards of her. We're trying to hurry up in here and get her. Buster was headed kind of toward the road and we kind of hooked the other way, so we're hurrying up in here and seeing if we can harvest the coon to her and I'm gonna to try to get down the hen. We're on a great big tree. <laughs> Where is it at? I'm gonna get back there and see if I can find it. Pretty sure we've seen the coon look down. Up, right, right in there. Yeah, yeah right I see something looking down now. Let me zoom in here. There's an eye. My camera's focusing on the twigs. There's the eye looking down. Go ahead and harvest it out there. Yep. There it moved. Down. That's a good looking cone. Pretty thing. That's what she does. She only does a tree the pretty cones. Yeah. I just got May lowered up in the truck. We're headed to Buster. He's treed and he's 870 yards from us here. Hopefully we can get down here and harvest another coon on this cold 20 some degree January night. We're doing good. We drove within 134 yards of Buster. She's right over the side of this hill. Got down here to Buster's tree. I already see the coon. I'll take you down here to see him. And we'll get back up here and get the coon harvested. There's a little Buster. Like I said, I've done seen the coon. It is. Shoot it. Oh, I guess. He's out. That's another boar coon. Buster's treated two boars, and Mace treated a boar. All three have been boars tonight. Well, we had a pretty good January the 11th night. I've had a real time. We've made what, four trees and seen three coons, seen and one of them coons. was a den tree. Yeah. I've had a good time hunting across. This is the second time I've hunted with him. The video before he was in. Are you having a good time? I love it. Get to smoke you plenty of cigarettes? Oh, yeah. Well, not a lot. Now we have to walk up hills. <laughs> well, I get a little winded. I've been tobacco free from chewing snuff since, uh, I think, uh, December 20th. And I miss it. I miss it terrible. Nobody oh. likes a quitter. I know it. <laughs> I know it.
But he's getting ready to get Dixie and put her back up. You have a good time, man. Oh yeah. Only certain people can enjoy coon hunting. You gotta be crazier than heck. They say that there's a thin line between a hobby and a mental illness. That's true. Y'all, thanks for watching. For all your hunting supply needs, go to KentuckyCoonerHuntingSupply.com. Don't forget to follow and subscribe to Kentucky Cooner. Y'all, thanks for watching. Until next time, put them on the wood. wood.